Hey everybody, Mr. Macintosh here and Microsoft today has just released Windows 11 to the public. A lot of you reached out and said, hey, how do I install Windows 11 on my M1 Mac? And the good news is that Parallels supports installing Windows 10 and Windows 11 on an ARM M1 Mac through Parallels Desktop 17. We're gonna try something a little bit different today. I've reached out to my friend, Andrew Tai, who specializes in Apple Silicon M1 gaming. He has a wonderful channel with some amazing videos. He also heads up the Apple Gaming Wiki, which is a wonderful resource on all the games that are compatible on M1 Macs. So be sure to visit his channel and give him a subscribe. Today, Andrew is going to teach you how to install Windows 11 ARM Edition on Apple Silicon M1 Macs through virtualization. He's also going to demonstrate how good his productivity and gaming performance is despite being run through a virtual machine. Andrew, take it away. Thank you very much for that intro, Mr. Macintosh. So Windows 11 has just released and I'm gonna show you how to install it on an M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So traditionally, if you wanted to run Windows on an Intel Macintosh, then you can just use the Bootcamp Assistant to install Windows native. However, this is not an option with the M1 Apple Silicon ARM chips and therefore we have to virtualize Windows instead. Thankfully, Parallels have released an excellent virtualization software, which is M1 native. Please check the link in the description for the Parallels 14 day free trial. And if you use the code AppleWiki10, then you'll receive a 10% discount and you'll be helping to support my channel and the work that I do. So once you're on the Parallels website, all you need to do is to click download free trial. And then we can click the download button. We'll click allow and then okay here. And then we'll click the download Parallels button there. Once the install parallels desktop.dmg is downloaded, we'll double click on it. And then we're going to double click on this install parallels desktop icon. Press open here. Press OK to give permission to access the downloads folder and then let the application download. Then we'll enter our password and then the software will begin initializing. And then we're gonna be met with this installation assistance screen. What this is telling us is that we're not able to run x86 operating systems. So in order to install Windows, we need to use Windows 11 ARM rather than Windows 11 x86. So here I'm gonna click continue. So here I'm gonna press continue to install Windows. And now it's asking us for a VHDX file. So I'm gonna minimize this and show you how to do the next step. So for the next step, we need to visit the website insider.windows.com and we need to sign up for the Windows Insider program. This is despite the fact that Windows 11 has already released, the Windows 11 ARM is still an Insider build. So what we need to do is to sign into our account, press next, enter our password, not now, stay signed in. So now that we're signed into our Microsoft account, we can go to the About section here and then go to the Windows Insider program. And then we're going to register here. Make sure to read the terms and then click the Accept button and register. Now click Flight Now. So now that we are signed into a Windows Insider Microsoft account, please click the next link in the description, which will take us directly to the Windows 11 ARM VHDX file. So what we can do now is to click on the blue link, which will download the latest version of Windows 11 ARM. So just let that run for a bit. It's a 10 gigabyte download, so it might take a bit of time. So once the file is downloaded, we can just minimize Safari and we can go straight back into the Parallels Install Assistant. And then we can click here, find automatically to find the Windows 11 ARM that we've just downloaded. Now we can press continue. And now we can select what we're gonna use Windows for. I want to get maximum performance, so I'm gonna select games only and press continue. Here it's asking us to name it. It's still defaulting to Windows 10. What I'm gonna do is to type in what I wanna call my virtual machine. I'm naming it Windows 11 ARM, and now I'm gonna press create. So once the installation completes, we can click here to continue, and then Parallels will automatically full size your virtual machine and then begin the Windows update. So you can see that Parallels has handled all of the Windows setup. It has created your local account already, and has even started downloading the latest update. So one of the important settings we should also enable is virtual TPM. Thankfully, virtual TPM support was added to the standard edition of Parallels, so you don't have to spend any extra money for the Pro Edition. We can use the standard edition to enable virtual TPM support. So to do so, we should shut down the virtual machine by clicking on the power button and then shutting down. What you can do is to click the Parallels logo at the top here and then go to Control Center. And then with our virtual machine, we click the cog icon here. And then we click the hardware tab and then we click the plus button here and we're gonna add a TPM chip and click add here. So now we can close the settings and then open Windows 11 ARM. So if we now go to the start menu and type in the command tpm.msc and press enter, then this will show that the TPM is now enabled on this computer. 
If I close this window and then go to the settings, you can see that it's actually downloading the next update successfully. We won't get that error message again. So what's great about this virtual machine is the way it integrates into the Mac. So I can put my cursor at the top of the screen and then unfull screen this application, and then I can run this as a window. You can also do things like enter coherence mode, which is a mode where Windows applications will appear in the Mac operating system. So if I click yes to this coherence mode and click next here and click next here, and then click to use coherence, it means that I can do things like open up Windows 11 start menu here, open up Microsoft Edge, and now I'm using the Windows 11 ARM version of Microsoft Edge, but it looks like it's part of the Mac operating system. Another interesting thing is that Windows 11 ARM detects that we're running an Apple Silicon processor and that we're running at four gigabytes of RAM. This is an eight gigabyte computer and it's using half of the processor cores and half of the installed RAM, which is the optimal performance for this virtual machine. So here we're gonna run the Geekbench 5 trial just to see how fast that this processor is. So here with Geekbench, we're getting a single core score of 1,507 and a multi-core score of 5,025. And this score is extremely impressive. And what's even more impressive is that this operating system is very capable of running games. So here I'm gonna be running the benchmark for the game Hitman Absolution. And this game is gonna be running under emulation on the ARM chip under this virtual machine. And it's very impressive that we're able to run this game at all on the ARM architecture under a virtual machine running at around 29, 30 frames per second. If you're interested in finding more about gaming on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, then please check out my YouTube channel. I cover all sorts of content, including benchmarks of the latest macOS games, as well as running Windows games through parallels or crossover and getting the maximum performance out of them. Anyway, it's been a pleasure being featured on Mr. Macintosh's channel. If you liked the video, please give this video a like. Please subscribe to Mr. Macintosh or to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you again, Andrew, for that collaboration. I really appreciate it. Everybody, let me know what you thought of this video in the comments. If you have any questions on Windows 11 M1 Mac using Parallel 17, let me know. As always, if you're a subscriber, I really appreciate it. We'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.